problem 244 or 343 for both textbooks. For details, please see the description below. In this problem, we have a classroom that normally contains 40 people and that is going to be air conditioned by window air conditioning units, which have a five kilowatt cooling capacity. In general, a person at rest might be assumed to dissipate heat at a rate of 360 kilojoules per hour. There are also 10 light bulbs in the room, each one with a rating of 100 watts. The rate of heat transfer of the classroom through the walls and the windows is estimated to be 15,000 kilojoules per hour. We want to maintain the temperature of the room at 21 Celsius, and we need to determine the number of window air conditioning units required to maintain that temperature. Here we have the list of the known values and what we need to find in the problem. And in the assumptions, we're going to neglect the heat dissipation from all of the equipment, such as computers and any other devices that might be present in the classroom. To better understand this problem, let's just do a smaller schematic. So let's assume that this is the classroom. So we have the classroom over here. Inside of the classroom, we have the people. So we said that we have uh, 40 people and we also have the bulbs. Each one of them is going to generate a certain amount of heat and some type of uh, power. Therefore, and also what we are going to have is we're going to have, uh, there's going to be some heat transfer through the walls. So that is going in, so, um, so we're going to have heat that is being gained by the classroom. And what we want to do is we have to have some coolant done. So notice we have things that take place inside of the classroom. Uh, something that is going to go through the walls and the windows into the classroom and then this is what is going to be needed. So what we're going to do is a balance of energy. Once again, because we have the information that we have is in terms of watts or a kilojoules per hour, we're going to do a balance of energy in terms of rates of energy transfer. So we're going to start by the rate of net transfer um, that is going to be equal to the rate of energy going in minus the rate of energy out and that is going to be equal to the change of energy in the system. Remember that we're going to take this uh, uh, problem to be a steady therefore we could neglect this value and it's going to give us zero. Therefore the amount of energy going in is equal to the rate of energy living in the system. And in this case, the amount of energy, the rate of energy going in is what is being dissipated by the people. By the bulbs, the amount of energy uh, transferred through the walls and the windows into the classroom. And what is living is actually the cooling process. So we're going to basically set the amount of energy in is going to be basically the, the rate that is being given by the bulbs. The rate that is going to be given by the people. And basically what is being gained by the walls. So let's call it just W. And what is living is basically going to be the amount of rate of cooling. Now let's get the value for each one of these three quantities. So let's start with the bulbs. So for the bulbs, we know that there were 10 bulbs and each one uh, dissipated at 100 watts. That means that the amount of uh, rate exchange is going to be one kilowatt. Okay, now let's do for the people. He says that it was 40 of them. And then each one uh, had a rate of 360 kilojoules per hour. And then we know that in one hour, there are 3,600 seconds. That gives us a value of four kilowatts and then lastly we have the heat that is going through the walls that is equal to 15,000 kilojoules per hour and we do the same conversion one hour it has 3600 seconds that gives us 4.17 kilowatts so now if we add these three values so we have one kilowatt plus four kilowatts 
plus 4.17 kilowatts, it gives us that the amount of cooling that is required is 9.17 kilowatts. The goal of the problem is to determine the number of window air conditioning units to require to maintain the temperature of 21 Celsius. We need to remove 9.17 kilowatts of energy from the classroom. One unit will not be sufficient since each one only carries 5 kilowatts of cooling capacity. Two, on the other hand, will be able to remove enough energy to maintain the temperature at 21 Celsius. Therefore, in this particular problem, uh, numerically, we need 1.83 units if we simply do the ratio between 9.17 divided by 5. However, we cannot have 1.83 units, therefore, the approximate value should be 2. We need 2 cooling units in order to be able to maintain the temperature at the desired value of 21 Celsius.